In this video, we actually cut up a ash tree that we had found laying over in the holler. It had uh, an awkward shape, so we wanted to just try it out on the mill to see if it could even be done. It's like a banana, almost. Yeah. So you'll see in the video that we had uh, some hard times moving that one, maneuvering it around anyway. <laughs> yeah, at one point he was trying to roll the log by himself because I was holding the baby and it totally rolled off the complete sawmill. It just fell to the ground. So we had to use a John Deere tractor to pick it back yeah, up. Yeah, so but, we're going to try to find some straight logs for the next one. Yeah, but we're learning as we go. So anyway, we'll show you how we solve this giant white ash. Wait, that's not what it is. Giant ash tree. <laughs> ash tree, I'm too tired. <laughs> Why ash? Uh, it's, a, it's a big <laughs> ash tree. <laughs> As you can see, this is kind of banana shaped here. So this is actually sticking outside of where the blade is. So we got to cut that part off. So we ended up with a lot of random pieces of wood. I don't know what we'll do with this yet, but we got this really nice beam. It's really pretty wood. This is ash. And you can see where the bugs have gotten it. Yep. This was a dead tree on our farm that we cut up. It was killed because the emerald ash bore. See down here where it gets the worse. Yeah. I can tell just by cutting, because when I get down here, it gets real soft, look at that. Really? Yeah. So this obviously has some dead in it, but we'll be able to use it for something.
So we did learn that you can definitely saw a really crooked and banana shaped log on the sawmill. It just takes a little bit more work and time and there's definitely more wood waste with a crooked log. So we'll try to stick to the straight logs, but if mother nature provides some crooked ones, we will definitely use them.